Do I look like a carpenter to you? Welcome to another Let's Build It. We are at the Salem Coastal Island. I have access to this island because of a mod called Fem Shepping's Salem Coastal Home. I'm not sure if that's the right way to say it, but this mod allows you access to the island. If you go to Salem, you go down to a boathouse on the edge of the water. You can see the island there. And you would take this boat over to the island or swim and activate the island that way. And I thought this was cool because it was just its own little separate island with these rock features. It doesn't have a traditional workbench, but it is accessible from this fern plant here. But check out this island. This is going to be pretty cool to build on. Excited to get this one going. It is basically open for building. He did put the dock in here and these stairs. I love this little opening here on the rock. I think I want to turn this into like a patio or a window. And I can't scrap these shrubs here. I'm not sure why, but I can't scrap them. So that actually kind of led me to want this build to be primarily lore friendly, but basically built out of scrap wood junk you know, material that you would find over there in Salem and you bring over here to build. So that concept basically sprung from this shrub here that I couldn't get rid of and I knew it was going to stick through the floor and not look so great. You know, majority of my builds have a combination of a pre-war look with a little bit of post-apocalyptic. Nothing that really makes sense in the world of Fallout, but I like using the mods, I like using the new clean stuff, but on this one I think I want to stick more to the limited building material as far as clean and nice and new. So this is going to be more of a junky build, is what I'm calling it. Let me activate the bench. Okay, so the main house, main living area is definitely going to be up here. This is. This is a pretty cool spot, nice flat level. Um, thinking here, uh, probably just start with the standard vanilla wood just to get the ground base. I want to clear the rocks there, so we'll bring it up to about here. For our initial block that I'll just lay down just to get an idea. I'll probably end up moving this, but I just want to see if we can go out. If I want to go out that far, or if I just want to make this the end window. Hmm. I don't think I want to go out too far. It's tempting, but I think I'm just going to... Maybe make this a nice little deck. Guess I could go out that far. Yeah, why don't we do that and kind of curve this around. So, get rid of the concrete one. We will lay down maybe one of these on the sides. We'll curve that around here. Let's. Um, get our tool here. I, f I can't believe I did not see this for the longest time, but I'm finally using the uh, Quapa tool. I'm not sure how you say it, but where you're able to do angles and things like that. But it's basically the newer version of the Place Anywhere, which I, I loved. I, I used a lot. Um, and kind of getting used to this one. It's a little hard to figure out the uh, the angling or you know pitch angle that whole aspect of the uh, quap or whatever. But it definitely opens a ton of doors as far as things you can do with your build. 
so that's that's pretty cool. I don't think I could live without some kind of place anywhere. I did use the rug glitch, the the pillar glitch for a while, which worked at times, but I just find the place anywhere tools just so much so much better to use. Okay, let's see here. Let's get some more wood. Feels like it's been a long time since I've actually used... Oops. Detach. See, I'm still getting the hang of this. There's so many button-pushing aspects to using this. Okay, attach. There we go. Curve this one in as well. It's not going to look pretty as far as the boards, but I'm going to cover that with some carpet, maybe some scraps of wood, more scraps of wood. But I just wanted to get the initial floor. What we'll do is we'll go down below and start uh, building up a some um, uh, pillars to hold this up so it does have some realistic aspects to it it's not just floating in the middle of nowhere okay i think that could work there this little kind of corner and i think I think this will be covered. I think I'm going to cover that or have have a covering stick out with some poles. Um, so I think uh, I just want to get the height of that. So I'll use one of these. So I have an idea of how high we're going. So I'll probably wind up using these. This will work for some uh, post-apocalyptic. Although, I kind of want this to hang out further than the edge here. So we have kind of an overhang. So why don't we add... seem to work a little better just for template placing so we'll go out half half a square we'll put our wall piece back for measurements boom put that back there okay so now with those in place we could start dropping in the pillars let me drop a couple in there just to see what we're dealing with here. I believe these wood pillars, or poles I guess, big old, are, where they go, are from the mod uh, pillars and poles I believe it's called, all listed on the screen. But it's got a lot of good vertical and horizontal poles. This really long, tall one is really good. And there's also like a shorter, thicker one that is also excellent to use. So. Grab these here. Probably going to have to do a double, maybe triple grab to try and get the... place anywhere. It happens sometimes. Okay, so and 
that's going to be tough because the place anywhere, what happens, and I didn't even think about this till now, is once you start building, you can't grab stuff if you're on, you know, something else. So say you're building and you want to move this pole. Well, if you set this pole on top of something else, you're not going to be able to grab it. It's going to keep grabbing, um, you know, whatever it's attached to. So like the floor, you'll, you'll wind up moving the floor and not, not the, um, not the pole. So maybe I'll have to do all my grabbing all the way down there and bring it all the way up, which is kind of a pain in the butt to do, but sometimes I don't mind. I pretty much do the building just to relax, enjoy. It's kind of part of the building is grabbing things and moving them into place. Okay, so we'll place this pole here as one of the supports, the edge there, and it hangs out over the edge like that, which is what I wanted. And then I'll kind of makeshift, I'll kind of build the roof around. So I wonder if I should do the roof first. Yeah, I think I'll do I'll do the roof first and then the poles. That's high enough. I think so. Because in here we'll have probably a higher roof. Okay. So now what I like to do and of course this works much better if you have the mod of unlimited shipping supplies or unlimited uh, building material, which is, where is it here? It's in the miscellaneous resources, miscellaneous shipment of everything. That's it. So you just drop that on the ground, turn off the build mode, pick it up and add it to your workbench and you will not run out of supplies, which is definitely cheating. But at this point, I've already played the game a couple times. Well, finished the game a couple times, played it numerous times, but now I just like to build and I'm not going to go try and make uh, go out of my way to make all kinds of caps the real way to try and afford these builds which would be take forever and be impossible so what I'm doing here is I'm just you know building my scaffold I guess you would say to make it easier to say work on this roof on these roof sections just because it's easier to place stuff. And I can always uh, scrap and reuse the wood later, but this will make it easier to try and place these roof sections at the angles I need. So, okay. Let's go get some more roof section. Now, let's give this a try. Let's see if this is going to let us pick it up. I don't think it is, but let's give it a try. Because it would be nice to not have to go all the way down there every time. See, it's selecting the shack floor, which is not what I want. Yeah. Well, let's move it around and see if we can... Keeps wanting to grab the floor. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can do it here. Ah, uh, that didn't work. <gasps> Took a 
gonna try that again. Detach. Okay. Put it on the roof. gonna work. It keeps wanting to attach to the shack floor. So we'll have to try it here. See if this works. It should. Yep. So we're gonna have to do it the long way. Bring each one of these pieces up. But in a sense it's kind of like real building, right? Right, we gotta see if we can get the angle here. Perfect, but it's not supposed to be, right? This is the junky build. And the idea is we'll curve this around with this. Which might not be the exact circular angles as patio or the the deck floor there but I think once again it's the junky version so I think it'll be good enough get this angle here I can't really see what I'm doing here I might have to re-grab this let's just go with that let's see how that looks not perfect but then again that's the advantage of making the, the post-apocalyptic kind of junked up version is you don't have to be so precise I'm kind of digging that it is a little lower but I think that'll work okay so This one, and we can place this. Yeah, that's way, way off. I might reset this one here. Get a better grab on it. I might have to speed build this here. Uh, so you guys don't have to sit and watch me do all this boring, this boring build. So why don't I uh, jump to a speed build here and catch up with you. We have a little more of this complete.
Okay, so I got the roof section here built. More of a larger lodge look to it, but I like it. I like the raised ceiling. I do like the angled version of this. And I'll go up above and get a better idea of how. So it's not perfect by any means, but it doesn't need to be, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's the junky version. So I just angled all these um, lower pitched roof sections. They work good for large roof pieces, which on top of these, I think works well for the, uh, the rundown scavenge material look. And once you start crossing all these, all the little beams, it doesn't look too bad. It actually looks very uh, overbuilt probably, but once you start using the angles and placing these square pieces at angles, it gives these beams a cool looking pattern here. So I think this will be a nice little spot for like a living area. I have like a railing, we'll put more poles in here. which will come out here and this will have, I might even separate this into separate houses. I'm not sure. Maybe have some farming stuff up here to grow your food rather than turning this entire huge spot up here all a, uh, a home or settlement home. Maybe kind of spread them out. I think that's probably what I'll do, so. I'm gonna keep building. I'm gonna put in these poles and some of the support structure underneath to give it a, a realistic look. So I'll do that and, uh, and come back.
Okay, so I put in the rest of the poles and the supports and while I was down there, I thought why not put in a lower floor because when I was down here, all this will be gone. This is not a dock or anything. Although I could make a dock now that I think about it, but this is just so I could access these walls here. Uh, once I built and put the poles in, and all the supports here, I realized I had quite a bit of space up to that level up there. So enough space to put this lower floor, lower room, that might serve as like the bedroom. I'm thinking the main residence, the, the bed where you would sleep would probably be down here. At least that's my thought. I'm also thinking about raising this up and maybe making a walkway going across the rocks there over to something else possibly. And up here is more the main area, maybe where you do cooking or, you know, just a hangout area. And once again, uh, also maybe a walkway that goes out to possibly up high up here maybe somewhere. Once again, this is also just scaffolding, but maybe up here in the rocks, maybe even here is like a generator or something that leads up there that could have a little bit of power. Um, and as far as the power goes, I'm gonna try and limit that to maybe few lights trying to keep it simple but it's hard it's hard so I kind of like the way this goes down to the second level here and I'm kind of digging this I'm probably gonna do more short wall here to finish that at the bottom but overall I like the view out to the water kind of like how the pole system has gone I might also up there do uh, I might try and fix that little roof piece there if I angle it a little bit more it might match up so but I think so far it looks good so let's keep building
Okay, so I've done quite a bit here. Uh, let me show you. Finished all the roofing, made that look good. Put in the pillars holding up the roof. That will help me and guide me when I start putting in the walls. Maybe just railings, keep this open, kind of like the, the view here. And as I was putting in the poles, let me, uh, actually, let me jump in the water here. We're down to this dock area. Now, this is just here so I can work on, on the pillars here. But, contemplating whether to have maybe a dock such as this down below, water level. Anyways, as I was putting in the pillars here, I noticed how high it was up to this level. So, I figured there would be enough space to put this second level, which is what I did, and I'm glad I did, because... Now I'll be able to turn this into a living quarters maybe, or you know, something. This leads up, what I'm thinking also, possibly like a bedroom or something, just off here. But come up here to the main level. Once again, this could be uh, anything really, but I like the view, I like the way the roof and ceiling turned out, merging all those together beams and stuff actually looks like it's meant to be like that even though it's really not and then I started here with the stairs going down to the lower level putting in the security fence here for railing a couple of the bookshelves merged together to block off that back portion of the stairs going down added a little shelf here put something maybe some um, candles or things like that you know for light and then extended the deck here and the roof coming out so we're kind of divided with this giant rock here which i love this big rock feature which i think is really adds to the uh, uniqueness of this build combining the the wood build right into the rock anyway so we have this patio deck type thing which is covered not quite sure what I'm gonna do here, if I'm gonna build it all the way out to the edge here, or maybe have open deck. But that would lead over here, and this is what I started to do. I started laying foundations for other buildings. So rather than one giant big complex all in one, I was thinking I was just gonna put some buildings in certain spots. So this, not sure what this would be, but um, I set it up for future building. And then over here, I did the same. I started a uh, platform here, which I'll then build up with the pillars. Anyways, there's lots of opportunity here. I'm really digging this build. I love this little island and the ability to build on it. It's gonna make a pretty cool player home, I guess you would say. But that's my idea so far. So that's about it for this first part. Good progress, good start. And until next time...